17-year-old Douglas Walter opened fire in the hallways, killing six students and wounding three others. The Chase High School Massacre is currently the seventh most deadly high school shooting in American history. News Channel 8 brings you exclusive interviews from several students who were involved in the shooting. Me llamo Patricia. Estaba parado por mi armario, cogiendo mis duros para irme a la casa. Di vuelta y vi un muchacho en un suéter negro y no pude ver su cara. Solo me dice que si tengo miedo y después de repente disparó y me dio en el brazo. La cosa que sé es que desperté en el hospital y mi mamá estaba al lado mío llorando y sonriendo a la misma vez. Le dice a mi papá que está en el cuarto al lado que finalmente me desperté después de cuatro horas de estar en el hospital para que me quitaran la bala del brazo. Solo, afortunadamente solo fue en mi brazo izquierdo. Uh, hoy me, me dieron la oportunidad de salir del hospital y voy a regresar a la escuela la próxima semana. Uh, I'm Megan, 15, and sophomore at Chase. I was friends with Douglas. I mean, we sat together at the same table at lunch every day. He was kind of weird. He never really said very much. He always just looked pretty sad. He liked metal because he was in a band, and I knew that his parents got divorced. He told me about it one time. I was there the day of the shooting. I was in the phone lab, and my friend Amy comes in. She says there's a shooter, and he's crazy, and he's killing everyone. I didn't find out that it was Douglas until a couple days later. I wonder where he is now. I wonder if he's scared. Oh my god, that Douglas kid? He's completely insane. I mean, he's always wearing black and those huge chains in his pants. He never smiles. I pass him in the hall sometimes, and he gives me this really weird look. Like, he wants me dead or something. He deserved to be locked up even before he shot up the school. He was crazy. He was shooting at everything. Lockers, the ground, the windows, other kids. I bet he killed like 20 people. I'm so sad. This is the most upsetting thing to ever happen at Chase. I mean, every year there's usually a few kids who die in drunk driving accidents, but I mean this, this is, I can't, I can't even describe it. Yeah. I was about to leave and then I see this guy running down the hallway in a black sweatshirt. Then he runs into the theater. And then that's laughing, I, re I remember. I got this weird feeling in my stomach. And I decided to go home for some reason. Called my brother and he came and picked me up. I, I heard about the shooting later when my friend Dylan called me and told me about it. I didn't come back to school the next day. Most kids didn't come back the next day. I wasn't actually there. I mean, I was there at school, but I wasn't in the building when it actually happened. I kind of knew Miranda. We were in the same math class. I just don't know why he did it. I just don't understand it at all. 18-year-old senior Miranda Bennett was among those killed in the Chase High School massacre. A dedicated scholar and athlete, Miss Bennett was also highly involved in her local church. 17-year-old Haley Lewis witnessed Miss Bennett's untimely death. My name's Haley. I was at the shooting. I was in Miranda. I was just walking with Miranda back from lunch when all of a sudden I heard something that sounded like firecrackers. We turned around for a second, and the next thing I knew, Miranda was lying down on the ground. She was there something that sounded like God or Jesus or something. I don't know. A 
televised funeral service for the late Miranda Bennett is scheduled to take place next week. In the meantime, the Bennett family has made plans to release a book chronicling their late daughter's life and spiritual journey. This is Laurel Adams, News Channel 8.